Hello everyone. Today's question of the day is based upon coordinate geometry. We'll be learning how to find out the intersection point of two lines. So the question is how many integral values of t are possible such that the lines tx minus 6y plus 12 equal to 0 and 4x plus 5 ty plus 7 equal to 0 intersect in the second quadrant. Now many of you might not be familiar with what is quadrant. So I'll explain. So what are quadrants? Basically in a Cartesian plane, this horizontal line is the x axis, this vertical line is the y axis, this point at the center, it is called the origin. Now all the values to the right of this origin on the horizontal line, they are positive. All the values to the left of the origin on the x axis, they are negative. All the values above this origin that means towards north all the values of y they are positive and below this origin all values are negative so we call this quadrant the first quadrant this quadrant is second quadrant this is the third quadrant and this is the fourth quadrant so from this quadrant we move anti-clockwise and the number of quadrant increases so this is the first quadrant, second one, third quadrant and fourth quadrant. Now according to the question, these two lines should intersect in the second quadrant. So that means they will intersect like this over here. So what we can see in the second quadrant is all the values of x, they are negative and all the values of y, they are positive. Now since these lines are intersecting in the second quadrant, we need to find out their point of intersection. So we'll be solving these equations for x and y. So we have tx minus 6y equal to minus 12 and then 4x plus 5ty equal to minus 7. So if I eliminate x, then I will have to multiply this equation by 4, this equation by t, I get 4tx minus 24y equal to minus 48 and 4tx plus 5t square y equal to minus 70. Now you can equate these two. So you'll be getting 4tx minus 24y plus 48 equals to 4tx plus 5t square y plus 70. So these are gone. If I take y common, I'll be getting 5t square plus 24 and here I'll be getting 48 minus 70. So I can say that I'll get y equals to 48 minus 70 upon 5t square plus 24. So this will be the value of y coordinate. What will be the value of x? Now you can put this value of y in any of the equations here, first or second, you'll be getting x equal to minus 60t plus 42 upon 24 plus 5t square. So now we have the values of x and y coordinate. Now we have to deal with their signs because they were intersecting in the second quadrant. So now we know that y has to be positive. That means y should be greater than 0. So we can say that 48 minus 70 upon 5t square plus 24 should be greater than 0 or I can say that 48 minus 70 should be greater than 0 or I can say that t must be less than 48 by 7. So this is something regarding the value of t. Similarly, I'll do it for x as well. x has to be negative. So that means less than 0. So we'll be getting minus this will be 60t plus 42 upon 24 plus 5t square this must be less than 0. Now when we have this, if I multiply this whole equation by negative, the inequality sign is reversed. So I'll be getting 60t plus 42 greater than 0. This denominator will become 0 only. So I can say that t must be greater than minus, this will be 7 by 10. So this is another value of t. Now I know that t should be less than 48 by 7 and it should be greater than minus 7 by 10. So all the integer values that are falling within this range, they will be the answer. Let us count them. So from minus 7 by 10 till 48 by 7, all the integer values that will fall in this range. So 
we'll have zero in this range we'll have one two three four five and six 48 by 7 is 6 point something only so it will be taken as 6 only so 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 we have 7 integral values 7 will be the correct answer to this question if there's any doubt please ask again thank you